what's up beautiful people you're welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time of joining you are welcome if you've been an old subscriber i truly appreciate you thank you for your support i do not take it for granted okay thanks today i want to teach you how to protect yourself if you can do this ritual please go ahead and do it as long as you can lay your hands on the materials it is not hard it is very simple this recipe will enable you to be free from any witch this recipe will protect you by the grace of God from any witchcraft or from anybody calling on your name in any bad altar either to destroy you or to kill you. This recipe is a long time recipe that our forefathers have used in the past. I have thought about this recipe years back, but it seems that some people that just joined, they haven't gone back to watch these videos. So a lot of people come to ask me how can we protect ourselves? Listen to me. The world is not as kind as you think. We all have enemies. Do not be surprised that while everybody is sleeping, there are people that try to destroy you when you are sleeping. Remember that when you're sleeping, you are unconscious. When someone is asleep, the person is in a different world altogether. This is why it is very important that you protect yourself so that even if they are trying to do anything to you while you are sleeping, while it seems you're restless, your spirit and your spirit guides will fight for you they will get up and fight those that want to fight you have you heard that someone sleeps in their sleep they die through sleep they invoke their spirits and then the person dies from that point it is said that the person is no longer breathing it is because such person is not strong in the spiritual realm. If you are strong in the spiritual realm, no one can kill you. Okay, without much ado, let's delve into the topic of today, which is protection. This is alligator pepper. Get these two items cedar acuta alligator pepper and one egg when you are getting your cedar acuta ensure that make sure that there is no hole in the cedar acuta like if you don't know what is cedar acuta please kindly use your google you will know what cedar acuta is it's always on the walk it's always on the road where people walk it always grows by the roadside some people you know urinate on it you know it's a very common plant that is seen everywhere get this plant get three pieces of this plant get three seeds of alligator pepper put it on your palm get one native egg take it around your head four times anti-clockwise stating that no man or woman shall kill you no man or woman shall destroy you no one no man or woman can invoke your spirit whatever they wish you may it return back to them in million folds after you are done keep your egg Put your hand on the middle of your head and pull out your hair from there. Add it on that cedar acuta 
and the alligator pepper. State all your intentions. After stating it for protection, put it in your mouth and chew it. Okay? Put it in your mouth and chew it. Now, for those of you that would start saying, Oh, how can I chew hair? How can I chew hair? Now, let me tell you something. Do you remember this adage that used to say, Namado Folun Tututa? Where's no man delegate? That a human, a woman or man, pulled out their hair, pulled out their hair, chewed it, and swore that it will never be well with you. Now, you will use this proverb to your own advantage. Pull your hair, but do not ever bury your hair. I kicked against people that do this ritual of burying their hairs because if another evil spirit, if a witch gets hold of your hair, Otilo, it is finished for you. I do not want to talk much on that, but you can do this particular one you are going to be eating your own hair by yourself do not give your hair to anyone this is why you should be mindful of where you cut your hair where you make your hair some people after cutting their hair they pack it by themselves and go and set it up place set it on fire by yourself and ensure that your hair is safe the easiest and fastest way that witches can get through to you is through your hair if they get hold of your hair this is why when you see somebody who is sleeping and they cut the person's hair in their dream the person is usually very worried seeking for help spiritual help because they have gotten the person if your hair can be used to check and detect your dna how much more the witches the spirits once you're done with this that is all this ritual should only be done once do not repeat this ritual you can only do re repeat this ritual maybe you can only repeat this ritual maybe when you feel you have the need that the once you've done it's wearing off maybe in in one year maybe in six months maybe in one year two years so it's not something that you do all the time very very powerful Make sure that you chew everything together and swallow it. You can go your way. The only thing is that do not use any plant, any cedar acuta that has holes in it. Okay? This is all for now. And I hope that the universe protects you. Continue to protect yourself because if you don't, no man will protect you listen to me god has made all these things available for him, for mankind because he understands the assignment he knows that that something like this will come into existence he knows that a lot of people will decide to be the nightmare that others will have he knows that man will continue to have enemies he provided the items for him for witches to attack you with if I tell you that the witches, the power they use, they always also lie in that cedar acuta. They also use this cedar acuta to attack you. Do, you. do you think that all these evil people, all these people that try to kill others, do you think that they have gotten their powers from another world? It is the same God that created this plant to save that also created the plant to destroy. Just as a doctor who can save life is also capable of destroying lives. Because the doctor knows the medication or the treatment to administer to you, to save you. The doctor also knows the one to kill you. It is given a privilege just as a Dibia, a native doctor can save life and is he or he or she also have the power to destroy lives because as long as you're learning the good side of something you are also discovering the bad side of it be warned okay all right thank you very much for watching guys god bless you all and see you guys in my next one